I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 2nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for taking some time out on a busy day in the markets. Uh, the uh, July uh, uh, unemployment report came out this morning, showed payroll growth slowing well below expectations. How are people reacting? Sure. Um, so the market was pretty focused on economic data this week. On Wednesday, we saw the Fed hold rate steady, but highlighted that inflation was getting closer to their 2% target. The market, it seems to be pricing in the first cut you know, at the September meeting prior to Wednesday, and Powell had also mentioned this week that a cut could happen as soon as September, but that they're going to continue to monitor economic data pretty closely. This morning, as you mentioned, the market digested a weaker than expected non-farm payroll report, where we saw a number of 114,000 versus the estimate of 175,000. And last month's original report of 206,000 was revised down to 179,000. We also saw unemployment rate come in at 4.3%, versus the estimate of 4.1%. So, you know, overall, it seems like the market is taking the jobs report and the commentary from the Fed as a sign that rate cuts are coming soon. Um, on Thursday, for example, the market was pricing in three cuts before year end. And um, we definitely saw that in the treasury market today with uh, treasuries rallying across the curve on the back of these numbers with the 10 year around a 382 after breaking through a 4% for the first time since February on Thursday and the 30 year around to 414 at the time of this video on Friday morning. It'll be really interesting to see, you know, uh, we did see uh, on the uh, on the technical side, strong inflows to mutual on mutual funds last week, the str uh, second strongest week of the year, over a billion dollars. Um, you know, sometimes we do uh, think of the retail investor in those mutual on mutual funds as as slow money. But right now they may be ahead of the curve, getting those higher yields before uh, before the rally. Exactly. You know, it's the fifth consecutive week of inflows. We saw munis continue to perform. Um, they were about six basis points tighter on the week in the 10 year and the 30 year part of the curve, um, you know, prior to the moves that I would think that we're going to see on the back of uh, this morning's data. So let's look at the other side of the technical world, the uh, the supply factor. Uh, as we mentioned last week, despite the Fed meeting, a pretty full calendar of new issues. And the next week, a really full calendar of new issues. What uh, what did you see and what are you expecting? Definitely. Um, this week we saw right around eight and a half billion, which given, you know, some busy weeks that we've been seeing was a, you know, a lighter Fed week, but BAM had nice activity. We priced around 240 million across 10 series in six states. And just a few deals to highlight here were the 66 million Upper Trinity Water District in Texas, which was priced by PNC, a 42 million Heinz Community College District in Mississippi, which was priced by Raven James, and then a 39 million St. Clair County Board of Education in Alabama, which was also priced by Raymond James. And then looking ahead to next week, over 14 billion on the calendar, I think, according to the IPRIO calendar, what uh, what stands out to you there? Sure. So, you know, I think it'll be a good, it's good timing for another big week with some of the heavy August redemption money, which hit on August 1st. Um, and a deal that we will be watching here at BAM is the 45 million Northern Palm Beach County Improvement District in Florida, which will be priced by Piper Sandler. You know, one thing to think about, and we were talking about it uh, internally earlier this week, I, I think year to date volume, only 15% of the new issue volume has been refunding activity of, of old transactions. As, as yields start moving lower, that a lot of refundings and refinancings come back into play. We saw that last week. Uh, one of the biggest deals of the week was a New York City GO refunding. We'll see if that's the start of a trend. You know, certainly there's been a lot of discussion, and we've talked about it here, about the fact that issuers are front loading their, their, new, their new money bond issues, uh, their investments in new projects. Uh, to try to avoid any kind of market volatility following the uh, election. But if rates are moving lower, that could uh, you know, bring in refundings back into the market kind of opportunistically in November and December. We could be on track for a real record year for uh, muni bond volume this year. So uh, something to really look forward to. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Morgan. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too.